How's it going guys, Jay right here. I want to do a quick little video on Android 1.5 versus Android 2.0. Now Android 2.0 just rolled out a couple weeks ago and at the moment there's only two watches that have it. You have the LG Watch Style which is on the left and then you have the LG Watch Sport which is a bigger version, more feature packed. Those Right now there's only two watches that have Android 2.0. On the right I have a Fossil Q Founder which is running 1.5. So I just want to do a quick video showing differences, things like that. So Right to start off with, let's look at the menu of Android 1.5. Now it's very linear. It's white background, all the apps swipe straight. All the usual apps that all the watches have. And then we'll go over to 2.0. Which here, see 2.0 features, uh, it can support this little spinning ring right here. The button, it also spins. And that's how you're going to do a lot of navigating in 2.0. So you spin it and it goes through the menu. You can also swipe at the same time. But this could be helpful for others. Now if you press it, it brings you back on both of these watches. It'll do that. The second thing I want to show you guys is messages. So for these, like 1.5, you get a message. Then you have to either usually speak, the microphone right here, you have to speak to it to reply. Now, good thing about 2.0, which this is one of my favorite features, is when you're doing this, you can reply using the keyboard. So you tap on it, you tap on this right here, and then you hit reply. So you have a couple choices once you hit reply. You can either draw an emoji, which is in the middle, you can, it pulls out a keyboard and you can type, or you have a microphone right here. So the keyboard is very small. It takes a little bit of getting used to. And you can, it does have a swipe feature also. Or what I like to do is I just kind of type and then you'll get the suggestions at the top and then you can pick from that. So my... So you can see how the suggestions help out a lot. Takes a little getting used to, but now that I've been getting used to it, it's one of my favorite features. See, like I said, it takes a little getting used to, but I do like it. And then you can also, you can also um, talk to it and it will do talk to text. As for that, also on 2.0, it has a standalone app store, which you don't have on 1.5. See right there, Play Store. And then you can out download apps straight from the watch. You don't have to go into the Google Play on the phone or anything. And I actually enjoy that too, even though I don't particularly put a lot of extra stuff on my watches because I really don't but it's nice to know that it's always there you have all these options right here they even have games on it I haven't tested that out yet uh, maybe I'll try that as for th besides that it's mainly straightforward for 2.0 there's different watch faces and stuff but I mean it's it's more of a revamped of 1.5, but not really anything too special. But it is worth picking up once it is rolled out to older phones. Right now, it's only on this phone or this watch here and the LG Watch Sport, but it should be rolling out for older phones. So this should be getting the update, and I will be updating this when it happens. So, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I uh, just wanted to give you, show you guys, you know, a little side by side, quick of both Android versions for Wear, and I will see you guys in the next one.